Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me. Today's project is this one. It's a watercoloured splat ink technique card with ginkgo branches. So that is a new bundle that I've not, this is the first time I've used it. So we've got the ginkgo branch and then dyes. I've got two out ready, um, but it's quite a lot of fun to make because you're doing sort of inky messy work. Right. What I want to do is show you the two dyes that I've got. So this one is this sort of lovely detailed filigree kind of outline, which is this one here that you can see, hopefully. It's this one here, but it's also this section here. So it's all of this is this detailed outline one. But then you've got the solid background which is what I've got tucked back there. So it's just a solid background. And I just had fun. I do feel that my detailed one is a little bit lost against the back one. So we're gonna, slight difference. So what I've done, I have prepped this already um, because I needed it very, very dry to die cut. Um, so I have got some of our watercolor paper. I'm putting this over a note card um, mostly because everybody has got, everybody can access note cards and envelopes. Um, and obviously being British I, and European, I work in, let me fold this, I work in a, a different size standard card stock to North America. And I wanted to show this, but on a project anybody could make. So this is a note card with now something stuck to it. Everybody can get hold of these in our catalogue with the matching envelope, okay? And that is, I want to say it's three and a half by five inches. Is that right? That was a good guess. Three and a half by five, which is, oh, 12, 12.7 centimetres by um, nine, well, 8.9. And so I've got my panel. This doesn't sit over the front. It's not layering. This isn't a panel for that purpose because we're sticking straight on. So, like I say, I've got one prepped already. And it's quite fun doing this. Where's my... Not a lot of water in it, and that was sensible. I have got my spritzer with water on it and my watercolour paper, and then I've got four inks. So my original one I used Sweet Sorbet, uh, Tahitian Tide Orchid, Oasis and Starry Sky, so those in colours, but I decided I was going to do this one in pastels. So I've got Blushing Bride, um, So Saffron, Mint Macaron and Balmy Blue. And it's just a lot of fun. So I've just got this as my scrappy paper. <laughs> Please have enough water. There we go. So I sprayed it with water and I'm just dripping my re -inkers. So that's the pink. And you get a different colour with every one that you do. Some of So Saffron. Getting it all over my hands. It's going to be great for the video that I follow. I film after this one. And then some blue. And you just drip it around. It's a fun technique. And then if I had a little bit more water, which apparently I haven't, you just spritz a bit more if necessary. And it starts moving around. And it's just quite fun. Um, if you don't like it, if it's too intense, if, if there's too many spots to it, you just dab and move. You spray more water. But you need to leave it to fully dry. You should to know how long that's been drying. A month. <laughs> Actually, more than that. Probably about five weeks. I'm just going to click and see if this works. Um, with some stamping missed oh that does actually um yeah i prepped this ages ago ages and ages ago long well, way back in january long before i went on holiday uh, because i really wanted it to dry and then i got distracted <laughs> so i'm not going to use this one uh, because it's wet and i don't want to splice the video because it pinks out my videos which is never fun um but what i do want to do is use this only on the background and like I say, I kind of feel that's a bit lost. I think it needs to be one or the other, not both. Um, it just didn't, it doesn't feel like it has worked properly with both. It's not given me the effect I wanted it to. Um, I lost my base plate on here. So, 
one, two, paper or cardstock, and then the die over the top. And I'm going to send that through. And then once I've done that, that's going to decide for me whether I use a colour or something else over this bit. So, this is my background. Now, what colour do I want to have over the top? Do I want the yellow or do I want a white? I'm kind of inclined to go white actually, just to have it stand out. Um, and I think it's okay to, yeah, for me, as a demonstrator for you guys, to not have absolutely every single thing prepped and ready. I think it's okay for me to show you my thought process. Um, and I was having a conversation with one of my boys the other day. We were talking about videos and live streams and things like that, and my home life doesn't allow for that. I'm a, I'm a busy mum of a shift working husband and I just don't have the same time available. And he said, Mum, why don't you film, whoops, film yourself designing, you know, your whole thought process of where you start from and where you get to. And I thought, mm, nobody wants to watch that. But I would be curious to know if anybody would want to watch that. Would you want to see, you know, would you want to see me designing from start to finish? I don't know. I don't know. So you tell me if, you, if that's something you fancy seeing, uh, fancy watching. Whether I could do it as a live stream or not is, is, I don't know. Like I say, I have different time available each week based on Chris's shifts and the children um, and my own commitments with, you know, team training and working with my team. So I, you know, I can't say every Tuesday at seven o'clock I will be here live because that's just not possible. Um, there we go. Let me do it on this. Because nothing wants to come out right now. So yeah, I'd love to know if that's something you'd like to see. It would be a case of exactly as I do now. Press record on my video and carry on. And then, I, so I don't edit. I haven't got, to, I haven't got time to edit. I didn't know how to and, and I'm still not convinced I do know how to. The best I could ever do was splice a video. But the program I was using is clearly quite old now because... When it splices them together, it turns everything pink. Lovely pink hue or purple on a good day. So let's have a look at this and see. <gasps> Ooh, that's pretty. If I bring it a little closer, that's really pretty with the white. Oh, I'm glad my instinct took me in that direction. It's not always right. So, okay, let's just, with bits left over, let's do a little stamping. So this is Ginkgo Branch. So you could stamp your background and you're going to get this lovely sort of uh, kind of this watercolor wash i think the the font is beautiful um i'm one of those fe funny people i can write in lots of different handwriting and i can write in in script or italic or whatever whatever you want to call it um cursive i think is the current terminology for it um but yeah i can write like that so i kind of i like it when i see italic words Okay, let's get this the right way around. I'm going to use this mark just here as my, <laughs> as my guideline. It's probably still not going to be accurate. Now, which of those colours shall I use? I might use the green. I don't think I've used Macron for a long time. Um, and I'm going to use this bit. That's quite nice, isn't it? I'm going to hack off the end. I'm just getting my trimmer out just to take a little hint off the. Uh, yeah, that's better. I'm going to flag tail this. And then, oh, have I got a mint macaron? Ooh, I don't know that I have. Let's go with this one. 
that can um, double up as, as mint macaron. This is soft succulent, I want to say. Yeah, soft succulent. So I'm just sending it backwards and forwards on itself. Just like that. And then take a little bit off each edge and then finish up. So I'm going to get some dimensionals on that. But this I'm going to anchor down just with ordinary um, seal, which hopefully is going <laughs> to, hopefully there's enough in there. My son asked me if I fancy doing any reels. No, because I like to chatter too much. <laughs> I'm not the person to do reels. I chatter and, yeah. I also am technologically challenged. <laughs> There's no way I would know how to do, do one of those. And my team said, oh, get him to do it for you. Yeah, no. He has a full-time job. So I'm just going to... Oh! Didn't mean to drop that. Put that on there to anchor it down and just get these out of the way and just show you the other. So I could have die cut the sentiment. I'm a little bit of a stamp and chop kind of girl, but there is another one of these little filigree sort of detailed bits and then an outline as well, well a couple more outlines. So there's more than just these few bits, um, but it's very nice. I don't know what a ginkgo looks like normally. If somebody had said to me, Sam, what does a ginkgo look like? No idea. Is it a ginkgo flower, ginkgo plant? I don't know. One of them. Oops. I'm just going to put that across the bottom. And that, I think, is very nice. It's very sweet. It's quite fun. Like I said, I kind of think I like the detailed layer of this more than I like the background. I like... No, that's not right. I like both parts. They haven't worked together. So, you know, if I was canny, I could probably peel that off. But actually, I quite like that you've... It's an almost an optical illusion. What am I seeing in the background? Is that the same thing? I don't know. It's fun. But it's detailed as well. Um, probably see it on this one better. It's embossed as well. Can you see that in there? But I think they're rather nice. I think they're quite fun. And an easy way to do a little bit of watercolouring, a little watercolour splat. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.